Hey, welcome to episode four of League. So my plan to log on to the mobile app in AFK for two days didn't work out as planned. So yeah, I lost some XP, but that's okay. I decided today I'm going to go to Wintertop again. Since I do have the Greedy Gatherer set, I wanted to test it out. And I was capping out around 2.1 million fire making XP per hour, which is really crazy because I could get this to 99 in a couple of hours and it won't even take that long. But I decided I'm going to stop at level 90 just because Wintertop like burns me out really easy. So I decided, let me get level 90. I'm going to get a couple of points from it. And then I'm going to go do something else. Okay, let me go ahead and open all these supply crates I've been gathering so far. And the loot wasn't that great. I was hoping to get a pet or at least a ton of GP. But no, I got some GP, but no pet. Um, I know the crates did get nerfed before, but I feel like they probably got nerfed again or something. I decided... Now that I have a lot of points, I was going to unlock a different skill, and I went with range. The reason I went with range is because I need another attack style. When I was doing the Priest and Peril quest, the dog, the temple guard, is immune to magic. I only have defense, which I couldn't kill it fast enough without it regening its health. So range would be good in the long run because it's good to kill a lot of NPCs, bosses, and also, I'll need it when I want to AFK. So I was like, this would be good. Also, the tasks are pretty easy. Some of them are just like equip a certain type of bow or equip the full um, dehyde set. And I was thinking maybe down the road when I do Dragon Slayer, I'll be able to equip the green dehyde body. At the moment, I don't want to do that quest because if you do that quest, you'll start getting assigned dragons as a Slayer task. And I don't have enough points to skip or block them so yeah i'm not going to do that quest for a while i found out that getting stung by bees was a task so i came over here and just got stunned by bees and i was like yay free points um so if you haven't done that <laughs> that's some free points there's also points if you go into the god wars dungeon in the wilderness you only need either 60 agility or 60 strength and you can just go there naked, just walk in there and then let it let the NPCs kill you if you want. But that was some easy points right there, too. <laughs> Opening up all those relics were pretty cool. Breaking all the relics were pretty cool. Um, I got them from splashing in case you're wondering. Also, while splashing, I'm making I'm trying to make sure to change out the relics I have maxed out. That way I'm training a different relic to level three. I went to do agility and the Falador agility course. I don't really like it. So I went to the wilderness. I did see two people here, but they were friendly. Like they didn't attack or anything. They actually ended up leaving. I don't know if they thought I was going to attack them, but who knows? <laughs> um, now that I'm at the Sears agility course, I was able to get my first 100k stack in leagues. I decided to come to the magic guild to buy some runes, and this guy doesn't want to sell me any unless I complete the hand in the sand quest which I don't want to do, which is funny because the guy right next to him, you can buy Mystic, which I think is a task to put on one piece of Mystic, which I, I'll do that later when I have more GP, but I thought that was kind of weird. So the way I went to go get Blood Runes, I decided instead of doing the Hand in the, the, hand in the Sand quest, I did uh, the Wizard in the Edgeville Wilderness. I forgot the name of the mini game. I think it's the Abyss, something in the Abyss or... Um, but it was a short mini quest, did it, was able to go to the wilderness, buy the blood rings from him, and that's what I was using as Flash for a while. Also, when you get the relics, they're based like on what you have at the moment, so it doesn't look at the other relics in your inventory. As you can see, so some of these, well, a lot of the relics I was holding on to were the same, which was a skill, which was a relic that I already had maxed out, so... They were just taking out room. So don't hold too many relics before breaking them. Go ahead and get them open as soon as possible. So that's what I've been up to today. Um, let me know in the comments how many points you have or what are you working on during this league. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.